Hello everybody, Carolyn here today. We are doing a super, super exciting unboxing. Today we're gonna be opening my newest Bayou haul and I am super, super excited to get this open and to see what's inside. But yeah, so if you do not recognize this packaging, this is my newest Bayi Makari Japan package. And I have been ordering from Bayi for years and years and years. And they're actually the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much Bayi for sponsoring today's video. I'll let voiceover Carolyn explain um, a little better because I am currently experiencing jet lag <laughs> and but voiceover Carolyn is just gonna sound so much more intelligent than me so um over to you voiceover Carolyn. Bai is an online Japanese proxy service that helps people like you and me who don't live in Japan buy from shops that normally would not ship outside of Japan. People always ask me where I get a lot of my k-pop photo cards from and I get a lot of my photo cards from Bai since I can shop through my favorite shops like Makari Japan and Rakuma that always have really really good deals on my favorite groups photo cards. Bai isn't limited to photo cards though as you can buy from literally over a hundred shops so whatever you're looking for you should be able to find it on Bai. Simply search for the item you want place your order and buy will purchase it on your behalf and store it at their warehouse for up to 30 days for free if you'd like to try out buy for yourself go ahead and click that link in my description box sign up with a brand new account and you'll get 10 percent off of your first order thank you so much buy for sponsoring today's video now let's get into the haul so yes let's go ahead and get this open i am super excited to see what's inside let us go ahead and get started so as you can see, we have a ton of these green envelopes here. We are just going to go ahead and get started. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the fun things about these hauls is that I often forget what I bought. <laughs> but this is for the Be The Sun um, DVD. I actually saw this while I was just like filming a clip for the sponsored portion of the video so i ended up buying it because i was like oh my gosh it's so cute let me actually like buy it um and it came with this ticket as well so this is actually super exciting i am moving all of my trade sale stuff to my trade sale mini binder and i was out of my amifa clear pocket so i bought a bundle of 10 so that's 100 pages so that usually lasts me a little bit um and most of the time you find them in packs of 10 anyways so it's usually pretty cheap i think i paid like 10 or 12 usd for all of these so really not bad at all um so yeah i've been trying to make it a habit to pick these up every time i do a makari package just to like keep having more i had like too many for a while and then all of a sudden i didn't have any <laughs> so i've been trying to buy them more regularly ooh. so ooh, it looks like we got a sticker as well so this is a little group sticker and then i got the fan club version of wave which is ive's um newest japanese single the single or mini it was japanese release and then this should come with a photo card. Ooh, there it is. All right, so here is Kyle's card. This is our fan club card. So of course I wanted to have both her fan club version and her fan club card. I don't know if I'm gonna collect the fan club version for everyone, but I at least wanted Kyle, at least for this release, I'm just gonna collect Kyle first and then just kind of see how I feel. Um, and like the rest of Ives year and like my other old groups, like what they're doing, so. So these are the last two Yunjun like normal size album cards I was missing. So these are his Weavers cards from their most recent release. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna collect these, but honestly, first of all, I love how these are in hollow sleeves. Like that's so fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, I don't know. These are some of my favorite cards from this era. So I was like, oh, I really wanna have them. So I said, oh, why not? For TXT, I have some very like, vague rules for myself but my main rule is like album cards and that technically counts because it's a weavers version yay so i'm trying to to work on my older stray kids collections which is very very silly of me because i just feel like i mean they're releasing a new japanese album in september so really i should be finishing up the japanese collections this is chance i believe it's his music korea card obsessed oh my gosh <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so so happy to have this card obviously from Maxident so I also bought Jung Han's um Weverse version cards for FML I only pulled one in my group order out of a hundred FML Weavers albums, I pulled one Jonghan and I gave it to one of my joiners. So I went and bought Jonghan myself. It wasn't that expensive. So I also bought this Lino card. And I realized after I bought this is his Shopee card, um, I believe. <laughs> I realized after I bought it. Okay, so I bought it and then I forgot to mark it off my template. My friend sent me a link to it and I bought it again. So <laughs> I actually bought it twice because while I was um, consolidating this package, I had already purchased like the duplicate one and I was like, oh my gosh, I already have this card, but that's okay. So I'm going to have an extra one of these. So hopefully there is somebody out there who follows me who is looking for him, um, who will buy off my extra one from me, but yes. This is an FML pop. Oh my gosh. I can't remember off the top of my head what, oh wait, is this his Kino? Why can I not remember? <laughs> I bought this so long ago. Um, I'll go ahead and write it right here. I think this might actually be S. Koops' Kino card um, for FML. And he's the only member I collect for Kino. So I just went and I bought his Kino card. I don't, I didn't actually buy a Kino album because I was like, I don't even want to worry about trying to trade or whatever. Like, I'm just going to go buy it. So this is the last circus card I needed for Chan. I don't know why this card was so hard to find for him, but I really do want to prioritize like finishing my Lino and Chan Japanese collections between now and September, just because I really, really want to be caught up. Like even if I don't have before scars done, which is like something I really even haven't looked at collecting. Like I want to be up to date minus like the, the first two releases, right? So hopefully I can do that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying to finish my Japanese collections and my old Korean cards. I'm pretty much done with five star. One of Won Young's cards from from Eleven Japan. Super super pretty. I'm really happy to finally be getting some of her photo cards from this because if you collect Ive or even if you don't collect Ive, you might know Won Young is just very expensive. <laughs> but she's so pretty in that card, so I'm super happy to have it. I need to finish ordering my freebies for that group order too, but oh my gosh, these cards are so cute. But I wanted to make a video about it because people are always like, how do you make them? So I was gonna make a video about it and I just haven't had a chance to yet. But also we have some more Ive cards here. Working on that OT6 set. I really wanna finish, like get caught up with my Ive collection as well before they make a comeback. Yay! So this is a Jihoon card. This is one of Jihoon's tag cards, um, which have been the most difficult thing to get um, from the last Treasure comeback. So I'm really hoping for Treasure's upcoming comeback. They don't do tag versions again because, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yay. Super happy to have that. I, I always get super excited when I'm able to find one of those, so I'm super happy I was able to find that on Baiyi. We've got some more cards. So if you watched my shopping video, um, you know that I saw an OT6 set of these pobs and couldn't resist because they were such a great price. Tower Records cards, maybe? But anyway, so we have Liz, Wanyang, Ray, Miso, Hyujin, and Kao. So yes, yeah, super, super happy to have these. I didn't really need I wasn't planning on collecting any OT6 for this, but the price was just so good. <laughs> I could not say no. And any excuse to have more pink ray photo cards, you know, like. I'm gonna be seeing Ive in August for the first time and oh my God, I'm so excited about it. Speaking of girl groups, this is a winter photo card. So this is from Espa's um, newest release, My World. I went ahead and finished all of the Korean press photo cards before the US release came out, um, just so that I wouldn't have to worry about like the the US press cards later. And as I've been doing this thing recently where like the only photo card you'll get in a US press is like a US photo card, like you won't get the the Target card and the normal album card, you know? So here we have another treasure photo card. As you can see, I've been slacking on my Jihoon collection, so. Definitely grateful to be catching up with that. I cannot wait 
for this upcoming treasure comeback though like i'm so excited to collect a new era of treasure this was double sleeve too a lot of these cards today have been like double or triple sleeved which is honestly just so nice like that everything is packaged so nicely but yes i'm <laughs> so excited to have this photo card oh my goodness I think my Juhan collection is pretty much done, if not like completely done. So yeah, cute. Oh my gosh, look like some more Ive cards and we got a little message from the seller on the back. Yes. So this is um, Ray's entire set of 11 Japan photo cards. So I'm super happy to have a full set. So we have this one. I love the backs of these cards. The only member I'm missing still is Wan Young. I think I have like one or two more photo cards from her that I need. So nothing crazy. Here is this one. And here is the last photo card. And it also came with her ID card, which I do already have, but it was a really good price for the bundle. So I'll just end up like reselling that or trading it for something else or something this is the last one i've got some interesting packaging here i think it's espa though <laughs> just judging from the packaging this is great packaging though oh my gosh good job japanese seller so this was the last winter card i was missing and then this one comes um in like a set of cards and i did actually end up buying this version because it's one of the u.s release versions so i don't technically need this card anymore um but it was good to find them in a bundle um my local k-pop store didn't have this version in when i went so look how good that is oh my gosh they did a great job <laughs> but yeah also i love these pull tabs they're so they're like the perfect size for something like this yeah a lot of girl group stuff today we're not mad at it though we've been been meaning to work on the girl group stuff so here are these two photo cards and yeah so that is everything okay so i was just editing this video and i feel like it's a little short compared to my normal video length so i wanted to come on here and do something i've seen a couple of other k-pop um youtubers do recently which is leave my photo cards with you guys while we just kind of chat about collections and such so yeah let's go ahead and then i'll show you my new trade sale binder too because some of these are going to go in there um because they came in bundles and were duplicates and things but yeah i'm gonna film a sorting photo card video this weekend so i need to get these ready as well so i normally use titan shield sleeves and i don't know if i have enough i mean i think i have enough for this but i don't think i have enough in general <laughs> i'm gonna have to check and see if i have another like package somewhere but yeah, I've just been storing it in this box. I want to decorate this. I just haven't done it yet. And then for my Ive binder, right now I'm using the Dragon Shield um, clear classic sleeves. So I don't have a lot of these left either, but I have enough. I don't really, you know, <laughs> Ive aren't making a comeback until October now. They announced it yesterday, actually, on the day that I am filming this portion of the video. Um, but I'm gonna put Junghan in here. I'm so excited to finally have his Weverse cards. And also I feel like I'm finally like making progress on this FML collection. Like I feel like when it first came out, I made a lot of progress on it, but um, yeah, also Treasure. Treasure's comeback is literally this week. So super excited <laughs> to start a new album for them and collect a new album these stray kids photo cards i they're japanese ones i don't sleeve just because they won't fit in my current binder pages but i do plan on upgrading those binder sleeves soon so that i can sleeve these cards because i don't really like not having them sleeved all the i have cards i need to double check because i know that there were some cards i already had obviously the wave cards let me just pull out all of the i have cards and we will figure out be it. That was a lot of Ive. <laughs> I got a lot of Ive cards. Though I guess I bought that OT6 bundle. So I don't know. I feel like we're gonna have to reorganize the Ive collection at some point 
in my life. Not today, but <laughs> at some point we're gonna need to reorganize this. So let's see here, I guess I could have pulled out my template, but the binder was closer than my iPad. So <laughs> we're just doing it this way. Um, these are all, I think for this, I just have like Ray's full set and then one, this one young card. I actually was gonna go look at Bailey later today to see if I could find the last couple one young cards just cause I feel like I've been working on this collection for a really long time and I just kind of want to be done with it. I just want to like kind of move forward with my collection. This is also Ray and then this must, yeah, one young and Ray. So we'll have this set done, but yeah, I just want to move forward with my Ive collection. So I'm looking to finish up with this set. So none of those were dupes though. I don't need her raise um, this card. So this one will be going up for sale or trade. And then I don't, I think maybe one of these was a dupe. I can't remember which one though. We gotta start working on this with the I've come back in October. Not that we have like no time because October is a long way away still, but you know, it's gonna be here before you know it. And I really want to be like completely caught up with Ive. Um, we still need this Eugen card. Oh, I have this Liso card already. Okay, so that one's also gonna go up for sale and trade. But these two were new photo cards. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then that's it. Wave, I don't think I've put anything away for yet, so we don't have to worry about Wave. But, but anyways, I want to be completely caught up with Ive. They're just a group that I feel like I've fallen behind a little bit, and I really want to like catch up soon but for my eye photo cards like i said i do use the um dragon shield clear classic sleeves but yeah i definitely want to get like an a5 wide binder eventually that will um will fit standard size sleeves because right now the only the only group that i have to sleeve like this is eye which is fine it's just kind of like I wish I didn't have to, you know? Like, I wish I had an A5 wide binder that would fit normal sleeves, but but I love the A5 wide layout for Ive. Like, I think it is the best way to store a six member group. Um, I've even considered moving Lost X, their OT6 eras into A5 wides, but I would have to resleeve literally everything. And I would need like a specific like A5 wide binder for that because the Beyond you one is not gonna fit the Monster X cards because yeah, Monster X cards need standard size sleeves. Like I even moved La Seraphim and Espa. Um, I switched their sleeves out so that they fit standard size sleeves. So yeah, it literally is just Ive. <laughs> it's literally just Ive right now, um, but that's okay. Makes them special, right? But yeah, I'm just missing those two one young cards and then there's a couple of trading cards from their fan con which I definitely want to finish up especially because I have some for Monster X um, for their recent fan con but I did buy six more packs on Starship Square because when I was at fan con I I could have gone in line a few times and gotten all the packs I needed but I just didn't feel like doing that and then I wasn't really gonna have anyone to trade with and that it's not like I collect like one member, you know, for those kinds of things. So I could have traded at FanCon, but it would have been very complicated <laughs> um, because I was collecting OT5. So I just figured I would wait for the international Momba Bay to get those cards. But I do want to finish Ives set before I start working on Monsta X. This I also don't need because I have a pack of these, like I have the full set. So that will go in the trade sale binder. And then the rest of these, I think I can just sleeve this Yunjun. Yunjun's in a My Collection binder now, but when he was in a Beyond D binder, I had switched his sleeves out as well. So yeah, we have this Lino card. That's another thing I need to do. Stray Kids are going to make another comeback at some point, and I'm terrified for it. I know they have a Japanese release coming out in September. So I've started thinking about that. So I'm trying to prioritize the Japanese collection, but also like I gotta finish those old pobs for him, for them, not just, I don't collect one member of, <laughs> yeah. 
I feel like there's a lot of collections that I'm so close in right now and I just need to like get it done but also with this new treasure comeback like I bought a lot of treasure albums I haven't part I haven't purchased any digi packs yet because couldn't choose my member for the digi packs and I obviously only collect three members of treasure and I didn't want another member's digi pack I could have opened a member claim but honestly I don't know that many to me so I didn't <laughs> didn't do that. I'm so excited to have these Weaver scars. I went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to collect these for Yeonjun. They're so pretty. Like these are, these are my favorite album cards from this era. Like they're so pretty. So had to do it. And they weren't that expensive. Also Junghan wasn't that expensive. I think people have stopped overpricing a little bit. I was looking at Hyunjin cards earlier today. Um, <laughs> don't ask me why. I don't want to talk about it. But <laughs> But I was looking at Hyunjin cards earlier today, and I was looking specifically for his um, Blue Dream Media photo card, and it actually wasn't that expensive. Maybe like two or three dollars more expensive than the other members, and I was really shocked. I was like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, that's really exciting. You know, for a while it felt like, like a lot. Like people were really overpricing a lot. And I think we've all just collectively decided that we're tired of that, and I love that for us because man was I tired of overpricing so yeah thankfully I have Baiyi and Baiyi always has really good deals on there so yeah everything is all sleeved now ready to be stored in binders let me just get my trade sale binder I'll kind of show you around my new trade sale binder and then we will end the video all right so this is my new trade sale binder um I used to have a large binder um which i still technically have it's right here but it has junghan on the front but i just got tired of having a big bulky a4 binder with me because sometimes when i travel i like to take my trade sale binder with me um so i tried to get sell and trade off enough cards that i could get it down to an a5 size and thankfully i did that um i'm not sure how i feel about it yet but i have i have so much stuff in here i literally have been so lazy at posting on my trade sale instagram but this is it if you want to come follow me i've been traveling and stuff for the past month so it's been really difficult to do trades and stuff um but i really need to get back into it i have a lot of extra like Chu honey photo cards i'm missing a couple of his um jewel case cards and then I always have like ATs and La Seraphim. I gotta work on that Hongjun collection. I still got some Ive photo cards in here. Um, so yeah, there's just so much stuff. I actually got invited to like a photo card trading event. Um, I don't really know how those work though. I've never been to one, um, but it'll be fun. I think, especially like with all the extra ATs cards I have. Um, I know a lot of Americans have those and a lot of like extra 17 cards that I have that I don't really need um and I have these two Espa US cards to trade still but anyways we just have a couple cards to put in here um I don't know if anyone's gonna want this one so I'm gonna hold off on putting that in there and then I have these two cards and then also I have this key card which isn't related to by but i did just pull it out of an album recently and i need to trade them for minnow so let me uh let me put these in here a little i'll put i don't really there really isn't a good spot to put key i'm gonna put key here and then i'm gonna try to put these with the rest of the the cards i have changyun photo cards to trade too especially us cards oh my gosh if you watch changyun's us album and you have the cards I'm missing, please trade me. I really want to finish the US cards. They're stressing me out. <laughs> I can't find them anywhere and like the US store stopped selling them. So yeah, so I'll just put those two S or two. Um, well, actually, let me put these over here. But yeah, I'm going to try. I've been trying for the past two days to post on my trade sale Instagram and I just keep running out of time by the end of the day. So hopefully we'll get there someday because I really would love to trade some of these cards. Also, I have so many of those ATs things. <laughs> oh, so much ATs in here. I bought a lot of ATs albums this time, so we can't be surprised. 
And then I'm also gonna have a ton of extra like Stray Kids photo cards. I just need to finish sorting for my group order and I need to unbox some albums still. And I have 48 more albums on the way. We've got a lot going on, but there we go. We are all, we are all done. So, all right, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know that the ending part is something different, but I feel like we should change it up every once in a while, you know? So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Baie, for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to try out Baie for yourself and get some super cute photo cards, you can go ahead and click that link in the description box down below. Sign up with a new account and you'll get 10% off of your first order. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much, Baie, for sponsoring. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.